For me, I think one of the other things that's really different about us is that when we come in, because of the work that you just explained, we are listening so deeply that we get what it is that they're facing so quickly that they actually forget that we're not them. Very quick, like they forget that we're not actually part of them. And I think it's because we actually really quickly understand what's actually at the source of the issues that they're facing in a way that they figure we would have had to have been there 20 years to really understand. That's why I love the moment that happens, as you all know, over and over again, where people gripe about consultants in front of in us. In front of two, two of us. Because <laughs> they forget that we actually are that. <laughs> you just... <laughs> <laughs> reminded me of something else too in what you said, which you know, I think and it relates back to what you were talking about too, this issue of having people enjoy work mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for a long time that was considered to be soft but there's more and more bodies of research that are showing that the quality of people's relationship to their work is actually shaping the quality of the work. Right. And the health issues that companies are actually bearing the brunt of from people who have stress-related issues. Right. A few weeks ago when I was in Australia and Colin and I were working with a client there, he asked the CEO something when we were preparing for this day with his top 200. And Colin, as you know, he'll ask bold questions. <laughs> and the CEO, was to say, well, is there anything else? And Colin said, I have one other thing. And he said, well, I think we're pretty ready. And Colin said, we are, but I just have one other question. What percentage of your time would you say you are absolutely in love with the work you're doing? No. Oh. And the CEO, I mean, he literally sat back a little bit in his chair. And he said, I don't know, 30 or 40 percent of the time. And Colin said, is that acceptable to you? Mm. And the man stopped and he said, it was very quiet. And he said, no, it's not. And he went in front of his top 200 and he told him about that conversation. <laughs> and he said, I've decided that what's minimally acceptable is I need to get to 60% this year. And I want all of you to get there too. Wow. And I think Beautiful. it is a big part of the difference we make mm -hmm. is we're integrating people's natural human desire to be satisfied with breakthroughs in productivity and performance. And that's worth doing. That is worth doing.